What's going on everyone? AD here. Welcome back to more Kinshi Iron Man. In the previous episode, we decided to leave our base of Moonshine and split up into two groups. We've had our Hunters group head northwest past Holy Nation territory all the way into the Floodlands, visiting all of these different ruins and trying to gain ancient science books. We're currently sitting outside of Burn's Tower and uh, we've acquired Burn and renamed him to Gus, so welcome aboard Gus. Welcome to the squad. We've got a skeleton to fill out the rest of our group, which I think is kind of necessary. That way we have all the races, so that's pretty cool. But as you can see, we need uh, to research tech level 5. We need 8 ancient science books. So that's kind of like what we're doing out here, um, visiting all these ruins. But we have a goal of going all the way deep into cannibal territory and visiting this outpost and some other ones to the northwest really far uh, into Leviathan territory, so that's gonna be really fun and interesting and dangerous at the same time But we also need to get Apple's lockpicking skill up right now. It's currently sitting at uh, 19 I believe so uh, Let's see where is it lockpicking? Yeah 19 so we got to go to world's end probably and see if we can get her lockpicking up a little bit before we can break into some of these ruins and and uh and break into the, into the safes that uh, we're gonna find. Over here in the Deadlands, Mr. Killer and I are just kind of hanging out in the bar, resting. Mr. Killer only has 50% acid protection, so we kind of have to be careful that he doesn't get damaged too badly out here. Uh, but we have enough protection to get us out of the, uh, the Deadlands. Luckily for me, the Hivers are immune to acid damage, so we don't really have to worry with my character. Uh, so that's nice. But, uh... In the previous episode, we stole literally a ton of masterwork and specialist grade arms and robotic replacements. So we'll be able to hook up our hunter squad with better repl robotic repl uh, replacements a little bit later uh, when we meet up and see them again. But we're going to need to find a place to store these amazing items for right now and see if we can steal some more stuff. Our goal really is to make some money, but also require blueprints that we need to uh, craft better armor and weapons back at our base in Moonshine. So that's kind of what our goal is over here. All right, it's time to head out with uh, the Hunters group. We're going to head over to this ruin to the northeast and check that out. See if we can acquire some, some more goodies along the way. Uh, this group is going to be gone for quite a while. So we're just going to have to dodge these iron spiders for now. Try not to get too damaged. Um, because when we get into cannibal territory... Things are going to get pretty uh, pretty crazy. We made it to the top of the canyon, and as you can see, the ruin is over here in the distance. Just going to cross the bridge and uh, check this thing out. I don't think there's any uh, security spiders around. Yeah, looks like the coast is clear. Alright, yeah, let's go up in here. And I've actually been to this ruin before, so I know what this is about. This is actually a lot of fun, though. The very first time you experience this. Um, so, spoiler alert, if you're new to the game, you're going to see something that uh, is kind of funny. So, um, if you hold the alt key, you'll be able to see that there's all these really cool stuff, like dried meat and stuff, ancient science books. But as you can see, it's kind of leading in a pathway all the way up. Um, so, if that doesn't tell you something, then, you know, it's a little little trick. But, uh, or I guess you should say an ambush. So let's have Amosine run up here. I'm putting everybody on hold. And uh, we're going to see what's up top. And as you can see, there's literally a giant camp of cannibals in here. So <laughs> they're just kind of hanging out. So we're going to leave them, lead them all back down here and do the battle down here because uh, we'll have more room. All right, get ready, guys. Rolo, I'm actually going to put you off of hold, too. Get you into this battle. And actually, let me move uh, Gus in front. There we go. All right, attack all, guys. Let's let's take him down. Rolo's really good at soaking up damage. Um, so I like to have uh, the Garus... And they could also hit multiple people, so when we're over num outnumbered, especially in the Cannibal Plains, it's good to have a Garu that can uh, do some area damage. 
Cryo Assassin is down. Lady Sharky is just annihilating people along with Mr. Wolf. And same with Crazy. We got Gus over here. He, oh, he's gonna use our. He's gonna be our heavy weapons guy. Since he's already specialized in heavy weapons, we might as well have a dude with heavy weapons. Nicely done, guys. We actually uh, did really well here. Oh, he's carrying Crazy Lizard. Take him down. Well done. That guy was crawling with Cryo Assassin. <laughs> wow. I don't know anybody that could do that. Oh, he severed some uh, some cannibal legs. Let's get Twerkinator to pick up all this stuff. Dried meat. Capacitor, dried meat. Get all this stuff. Basic first aid book. Ancient science book. There we go. Alright, the really cool thing though is that we can go upstairs and heal everyone. Uh, let me see, Gus is... We're just currently healing him, okay. I'm gonna leave Gus downstairs, he's going to kill anybody that gets up. Everybody else is just gonna go upstairs though, and rest up, because we can kind of confiscate their sleeping bags. Gus will kind of watch over everyone. Everyone else though, is gonna go hold. So that they don't get up and start running around. And yeah, as you can see, Gus will be down here, taking them all down. Oh, except this guy got away. Torquinator and Crazy Lizard. Oh, he's going for him. <laughs> Nicely done. Can I put this guy in? Like, can we pick him up and put him, like, disintegrate him? Hold on. Pick up. And how do we... Can we put him in the corpse disposal cooking pit? Yeah. Uh, oh. Well, he's not a corpse yet. Uh, we'll put him in the spiked cage. How about that? There, you can sit in there. Here's where all the goodies are, though, in the second level. Let's get Apple up here. Maybe she can work on our lock picking. Uh, meanwhile, let's get everybody that got damaged. Uh, get them laying down. Darth can actually go downstairs as well with uh, with Gus. Kind of watch over. All right, Apple. Let's see what we got up here. Ancient science book, cargo pants, reinforced. Ah, we might take those. Um, you gotta make sure that you check every one of these strong boxes, because each one can have something. Plated boots. Sleeveless long coat. Ah, prototype grade. I'm not gonna take it. Ah, I'm not gonna take prototype grade. Oh, jackpot. High-grade samurai helmet. Wow. KLR series arm left. Hey, Apple just got herself a new... a new arm. Oh, yeah. Let me give that to Apple. And, uh... Yeah, a lot of other cool stuff in here. Cool. What else is in here? Metal box. So this is where all the goodies are. High grade dust coat though. We'll take that. Traders leathers high grade. It's funny we're getting caught stealing. Oh, we're gonna give uh, Torquinator the rusty chain shirt. And... I don't need a capacitor. Leather turtleneck. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we need some of those, actually. Yeah, the Cannibal Chief has a $10,000 bounty. And we might actually take him because we're going to go towards World End. So we might actually... Let's pick him up. Is he dead? Oh, he's bleeding out. First aid him. we got to keep him alive because otherwise we're only going to get 5000 for his body. 
Alright, in the meantime, I think we're just gonna have everybody kind of rest up here. Crazy Lizard needs a rest, and, uh, maybe Torquinator a little bit, too. Over here in the Deadlands, uh, Mr. Killer and I are gonna head out. See what other trouble we can get into. First of all, though, we need to stash our, our, uh, goodies that we got. We're overloaded here with too much stuff. We got a nice fragment axe for Gus, so that's great. Tons of robotic stuff. Um, but yeah, we're gonna need to, to store it somewhere. But we're gonna head east. There's a way station over here, and then we can kind of plan our next move. I think what we'll do is, like, set up a little tent or something somewhere and kind of stash our, our, our goods, and then we can come back for them later. Like maybe I can pick up a, a backpack, a trader's backpack or something, so that when we head back... Uh, to meet up with our group, we can carry all that stuff away. Mr. Killer and I have made it out of the Deadlands, thankfully. And, uh, we're heading east. Um, what is this over here? We got Blood Raiders. Uh, interesting. Okay, I think we could take these. Well, maybe not. I don't know if we can take them. Kind of overloaded right now. Mr. Killer took a, a lot of damage because he had to swim through acid water, um, acid rain. Um, hmm. It could be fun, though. Yeah, let's just see if we can take him down. What the hell? Oh, they running away from us, are they? Where are they going? <laughs> That's funny, they're they're not even interested. Alright, whatever. Oh. Oh, we got a skimmer, though. Okay, we'll take that down. Wow, 46 to the chest. <laughs> I love their death animation, it's so cool. <laughs> Alright, we might need some food. I really like the look of this biome. It's so pre uh, so freaking epic, man. Like, you just see... Like, all of the, uh... Mountains and stuff in the distance. Like, and that's, pla that's like places you can travel, too. I mean, it's like... It's a, a real location. You know, a lot of times when you see these games, like... You see, like, mountains in the distance that you can never go to. But in Kinshi, everything you see, you can go to. Like, this is a mountain that we just passed. Like, all of this stuff. Like, that's World's End over there, I think. Because um, if we look... Yeah, I think that's World's End. Uh, that big mountain over there. So, pretty pretty cool. Honestly. Uh, Alright, yeah, we made it to the way station, thankfully. And we can rest up. Let's just take a look and see if we can buy some blueprints. Or something. Yeah, so we need to get uh, advanced outpost blueprints and uh, advanced harpoonery. And those cost a lot. You know, the one thing I forgot to do, though, is go to the scrapyard in Black Desert City. Uh, the scrap house and check out what they have. Hmm. Probably should go. We're going to hit that back up on the way back, I think, though. Um, my main priority is getting like a place where we can store our stuff so that we can start stealing from other areas out here. Uh, where's the bartender? Let's talk to this guy. Do we need a... Uh, we already have a sleeping bag. And I think we have enough food. Buy a couple more things of food. Everything else... Uh, oh, we do need... I know what I need now. Let's run back over here. We're gonna need a... Uh, iron plates and a building material. We're only gonna need one, I think. But we'll get one of each. I think we're gonna need those... For what we plan on doing. And we have fabric, so... 
think, uh, do we have enough? Uh, let's see, can we buy another fabric in here? Let me see. No, this guy doesn't have fabric. It's funny, they don't sell it at the way station. Alright, well, we're gonna have Mr. Killer come up and rest. And, uh, I might as well rest, too. Back here in the floodlands, it's time to head out. Everybody's rested up, and uh, we got our dead cannibal chief. Oh, he died. Oh, what happened? Oh, because I didn't heal his leg, he had negative blood loss. Oh, my bad. Oh, well. Well, we can still get 5,000 for him, so it's not a big deal. As long as we don't put him down. So Darth can't get knocked out because I don't want his body to, to like disappear. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's let's head out with this group and see what else. I think we're gonna head east now or southeast back towards the World's End. We made it to a Flotsam uh, scout post, and these guys are um, our allies that we allied with, so this is a good spot. We can come and rest if we want. They don't care. Um, and we can also train if we wanted to, but uh, their, their dummies are not very good, and they only you can only train up to level five here, so nothing, uh, nothing that good. Uh, but yeah, I think we're fine. We don't need to rest. Don't need to talk to anyone. So we're gonna continue on and uh, head towards World's End. I uh, just want to say that you guys are really awesome uh, for leaving comments on my videos and uh, and helping other people in Kinshi. I noticed that a lot of you guys are responding to other people that ask questions on my uh, Kinshi videos, and I really appreciate that. I can't always reply to everyone, but uh, just the, the community in general is really fantastic. You know, there's um, a lot of helpful people and people that really like this game and I love hearing your stories and, and reading your comments about like stuff that's going on in your games and uh, you know because that gives me ideas of things that I can do in this series and other series that I want to do with Kenshi and so you know keep keep posting those comments I do read them and uh, but it also helps other people um, that are uh, learning Kenshi and, and wanting to get into this game and um, I, I can't thank you guys enough for uh, replying to other people and posting uh, tips and suggestions for them. So thank you so much for doing that. We're coming up on our allies of Flotsam Ninja's home base. I actually decided to stop here because I think it'll be good if we get Reacted Wing and Cryo Assassin training. And I think we can use their dummies in here. If I'm not mistaken, they should be level 15. Yeah, max skill level is 15. Uh, yeah, so these are MK3 dummies. So we can get Cryo Assassin working here, and also, um, let's see, Gus is already, yeah, he's good enough. So Reacted Wing, um, they really need some training with their melee attack, so we get them in here doing that, and, uh, this way, they're good to go by the time we come back, so we'll leave them here, and actually, uh, let's see, do we want to sell anything? Hmm, let me just uh, trade some stuff with people and then I'll sell what we don't need. Alright guys, so what I did is I went and gave, let's see, if we're going down the line here, um, we've given Apple a, uh, actually I didn't do anything with Apple, let's see, Mr. Wolf is the same, Yeflin's the same, uh, let's see, Lady Sharky's got a fog mask now. Um, Torquinator I gave the Samurai Helmet to, because Torquinator is just, like, full up Samurai gear. And, let's see, Reacted Wing is pretty much the same. Night Fury I gave a Fog Mask to. Crazy Lizards, uh, I gave him the Dust Coat High Grade. Uh, this thing is a little bit better than what he was using, better protection. And it covers pretty much every limb available, so this could actually be really nice for him. Cryo Assassin, I gave him a Rusty Chain shirt. Um, and Gus, I gave a Horse Chop or two for now, because I actually realized he was using a hacker instead of a heavy weapon. Uh, but I also gave him cargo, cargo Pants and Trader's Leather. So he's got himself a little bit better protection. And uh, 
he looks a little bit better uh, <laughs> than he did. Um, and so that's pretty much all I did with the loot. So let's go ahead and go in here with uh, Torquinator, sell everything else that we don't need. Wow, they have a high-grade pl uh, black plate jacket, 8400 uh for money, but this thing is great. Uh, I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna take that. Uh, we'll give that to... I don't know, maybe... Um, uh, we'll give it to Darth and then trickle down his armor. I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that. We got the money for it. We might as well buy some better gear if we can. Um, I'm not going to buy any blueprints because we're going to wait on our other group to see what they can steal. I will buy a couple med kits though. Uh, just so we have them. And I would buy some cargo pants for Gus if we had them available, but it looks like they're just crappy grade. Uh, other than that, I think uh, that, we'll, that would be good. Uh, we do need heavy bolts, but can't buy them here. I'm also selling a couple things that Rolo had. So we're back up to 38,000 uh, because we sold the power core and, and uh, CPU muscle, skeleton eye, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I think I think that'll be good. I don't think we need anything else for right now. Um, but that brings us up to uh, a little bit more funds and we free up Rolo's inventory space. I just want to trade with Gus and give him a couple med kits so that he has them. He's got a bunch of skeleton repair kits, of course. Um, but yeah, for the black plate jacket, I guess we'll give that to... Maybe we should just give that to Gus. Considering he... Uh, he's going to need that. That way he protects himself a bit. Um, since he can't wear other gear. So we'll give that to Gus, so he has it. Darth has a standard grade plate jacket right now, so that's fine. Actually, I, actually, I'll give Darth the black plate, and I'll give Gus the plate, the standard grade. Considering hivers tend to take more damage. Ah, uh, all right, so that will work. All right, boys, let's head out. Darth has the. Do we still have the corpse. I don't even see him carrying it, but hopefully, it's still there. We're going to come back for Cryo Assassin and Reacted Wing. They're going to continue doing some training. For now. Uh, we'll come back for them on the way back towards the Cannibal Plains. We're going to head up over to World's End for a night or two. And just uh, see if we can get Apple's lockpicking skill up. We made it to World's End. Awesome. Just in time for day. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll probably be hanging out here for a little while. We might be able to steal some other stuff up here. But, I don't know. We'll have to see if Apple can do it. Well, I'm going to have Apple run up in here into uh, this little building. Knowledge building is what I like to call it. But anyway, it doesn't look like there's anybody up here. Which is kind of funny. I don't know. There's usually people. Is there on the... Oh, okay. They're on this floor. Oh, they're all sleeping, actually. Okay. Wow, this is the best time to go then, guys. 749. There's literally nobody over here. Um, let's gonna, we're gonna get Apple over here and just try to pick these locks on the chests. We probably won't steal anything because our stealing is five. So we're probably just going to pick locks and try to get our uh, lock picking skill up. Oh no, oh no, we got people coming now. Hopefully nobody sees her. She's gonna have to hide though if somebody comes in that room. Yeah, as you can see there's a lot of books in here about the world of Kenshi. I'm not gonna go read through them. Maybe later. Um, we'll, we'll go through it, but... There's a lot of, of lore stuff in this uh, in this building if you want to sneak in and try to get the books. Ancient safe, we can try and pick lock. Oh. 
Alright, if I could, I could pick lock this, but I gotta not get caught. Apple has, has locked it, or uh, picked the lock on the ancient safe. And, okay, let's just see what's in there. Yeah, Legend of the Grieve Wraith. Holy Nation legend tells of the souls of the lost Shek becoming consumed by malice, hate, and envy for the living. Uh, let's see, Legend of the Headless Ancient. Uh, yeah, so just some robotics components. Alright, that's not bad. Got a little bit of uh, lockpicking experience. Alright, Apple's done good for us. Let's see, she's at... Lockpicking 25. Okay, not bad. So if we can get that up just a little bit higher, I think that'll be high enough to get into uh, some of these uh, safes that we're going to find out there. I'm going to wait until nighttime, and then we'll see if we can get her skill up a little bit more um, just by picking some doors open and stuff. Mr. Killer and I are going to leave the way station now, and we're going to head north, uh, kind of along the... Um, the, co the edge of the Deadlands into the Skim Sands, I guess. And uh, we'll probably just drop an outpost or something somewhere. I don't really know if we can prevent people from looting the stuff that we put in there. I don't think they do loot anything, but um, you never know. But we're going to have to just drop our stuff in there for now. Because as you can see, we're running really freaking slow. <laughs> One thing you have to be careful of in the skim sands and in the great desert is you gotta watch out for the skimmers because the the actual nests for skimmers you can't see them they're they're hiding in the in the uh, in the sand so you can literally like walk right into them um, and that could be pretty bad so gotta look for their heads sticking out of the ground. They kind of remind me of that spider that. Um, basically like hides itself under the sand and then it just like jumps on people as they come across or jumps on its target whatever that is all right what do we got over here we got uh some farmers outlaw oh this guy's got a bounty on him hold on though before i forget let's run back over i got i forgot to um with darth You gotta have Darth drop in the uh, the dude he's carrying. Oh, he's not carrying him anymore. Ah. Oh. oh well, he disappeared. Damn it. Well, crap. Well, we're not gonna be able to uh, turn the cannibal chief in, unfortunately. You kind of need to get to the police station right away. I I just kind of forgot, but. It's, it's kind of hard when you're uh, doing this, if you're, like, the way I do my Kinchi episodes, I'm always, like, a, like controlling multiple people and squads and stuff, and it can get pretty, pretty nuts, like, trying to remember everything that you were trying to do. Um, oh boy. We got skimmers. A hot on our tail. I don't think we're gonna get... Yeah, we're not going to get away from him. All right, Mr. Killer, you and me. Here we go. Attack all. Take them down. Try not to get hit too bad. Oh. Oh, God. Well. He did not last very long. It's a good thing they do not eat you, because that would have just been the end of us right there. Oh my... Oh, what? They're gonna just sit there? See if Mr. Killer can sneak. There we go. Yeah. Just sneak our way away from the, uh, the problem. There we go. Not bad. Okay. We made it through there. Hold on, I'm limping, let me splint. There we go. Now I can limp a lot faster. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving. 
I think we're gonna uh, place a little base or something. A little outpost. Not like an outpost, but a... Uh... Oh, this is Tingu's vault, isn't it? Yeah, we're gonna go up into the mountains here. And place a, uh, a little tent or something and store our, our goodies. Mr. Killer and I are going to hang out here, just kind of hide for right now. We're going to switch back to our other group, do some stealing with Apple. Uh, we're rather not stealing, but we're going to be doing some lock picking. So let me uh, get the group over here. We have Apple hide. And let's just pick lock. Nobody's around. Oh no, this guy is coming right for her. Alright, Apple, get out of there. Get out of there. Uh oh. Alright, that was close. That was very close. There we go. 52 stealth. Okay. It's a freaking backpack that's causing the problem. Alright, see if we can pick lock uh, this building without getting caught. There we go. Not bad. What's her skill up to? 27. Okay, we're picking this lock over here. See if we can get in, uh, get some skill gains here, and then we can... Oh. Let's stop. This guy's coming by. Oh, yeah. He would have saw her for sure. Wow, Apple is so freaking lucky, man. This is dangerous up here. Super dangerous trying to get into this, trying to pick lock this door. Um, they've actually made this a lot um, better with roaming patrols like this, at least in World's End. Alright, Apple unlocked the door. And that's it. I think we got enough skill gain here so that we can continue on. She's at... 29 lockpicking. That's, that's pretty close. I think that will be enough to at least... Um, unlock the uh, the bigger safes that we're gonna get to up here. Let me put. I have Apple put her pants back on. <laughs> there we go. Back over here in the skim sands. Darth and I are heading out. Uh, we're over here near Tingu's vault. This place is like a freaking fortress. Um. You need literally an army to come in there. Uh, unless you have some really high-powered guys. Darth is... Uh, or Mr. Killer is actually getting attacked by Blood Raiders. I got knocked out. I didn't even see that happen. So they just came up behind us. So Mr. Killer is going to have to try to defend himself. And I don't know if that's going to work out very well. But he's going to have to try. Come on, Mr. Killer. Come on, man. Oh, he's down. Well, let's see what they loot. We don't have any food. Doesn't look like they loot anything. All right. That's fine. I'm actually, uh... Who's attacking me now? Alright, let me kill this guy. Yeah, take that. Right to the stomach. Mess with the wrong dude. <laughs> oh, whoa. Hack stopper pants. These are new. Whoa, I actually like the look of those. That's pretty neat. Hack stopper pants. Metal cage armored pants. That's some Mad Max style stuff right there. Alright, let's get over to Mr. Killer. Kind of heal him up. Alright, he'll be getting up soon. I think we're going to stash our, uh, our stuff out here in the canyons. Oh yeah, right here. Right here is the perfect spot. Right behind this rock. Alright, first of all, let's go into the build menu. Let's build a, uh, a mercenary tent. 
Or do we want to... Yeah. Let's build a mercenary tent down here. Actually, we'll probably build two of them. Two mercenary tents. And we're going to build a campfire. We'll put two campfires and a uh, we'll do a camp bed right there. And that should be good. Confirm. Alright, let me put on my other backpack. And yeah, I should have enough stuff to build this. Alright, we got two tents up. We can't even see anything because of the uh, the dust storm. But um, we're also going to build a general storage. So we're going to go to storage and build a general storage box. Storage chest. And, oh, why can't I build that here? Well, that's... that's lame. How about a metal storage? Must be placed inside a building? Oh, that's lame. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to build a small little building out here with two little tents. I... that... that kind of stinks that you can't put a uh, general storage box um, outside. You have to put it inside a building. So, anyway, I guess we'll build this. And I don't even think I have... I have one building material, or Mr. Killer does. We're gonna have to buy some building materials now from... I guess Stoat. And uh, we'll just... We'll store some stuff. Holy Assault moving towards your outpost. Allied reinforcements on the way to your outpost. What? Allied reinforcements? Whoa, dude, what is this? Floatsaw Ninja's allied reinforcements. No way, dude, that is so epic. I haven't seen that in my life. That is something new. Oh, damn, you guys better... Hold on, they're all the way up there. Where's, um... Cryo Assassin and Reacted Wing? Let's check them out. Where's... Is this the, uh... The reinforcements? No, that's Maul. Uh, oh, they're up there. Oh, I just want to see how many men they're sending. Let me get Cryo Assassin over there. Is that them there? Or Oh, there they are. Dude, these guys better hurry up. They're not going to get... Oh, is Maul actually leading them? Oh wow, she is. She's actually coming to our base for reinforcements. That is some epicness right there. That is something new that they've added very recently. That is that is pretty awesome. All right, well let's get uh, reacted wing and cryo assassin back on their training. The only problem is, they're definitely not going to get to us anytime soon. Yeah, we're gonna have to disappear from our, our outpost out here. Well, uh, taking a look at the map, it actually looks like they are actually going to get here in time. Let's rename this to, uh, Hideout. I'm gonna rename this to Hideout. Near Tingo, Tingo's vault. Dude, this is epic. I want to see this happen. <laughs> I want to see this happen so bad. Uh, let's take a look. While uh, Mr. Killer kind of... Let's take a look. Are, wow, they're, how are they going so fast? Where are they? I want to see them running or something. They, they're on full speed mode. How are they... How did they beat them? I don't... I guess they're lighter armored, they can run faster, but I just want to see them, like, are they going full speed or what? Oh, I got a, a bunch of freaking skim spiders on my tail. Oh, jeez. 
Where's Maul at? How did they... That's crazy that they got here in time. I'm gonna need your help, Maul. <laughs> Help me take these things out. Oh, jeez, I'm down. Wow. It's kind of bad that I led them in here because they're going to get damaged before the Holy Nation gets here. Uh, one problem with the Flotsam Ninjas, Flotsam Ninjas is that they, they don't have a lot of armor, so they uh, they get wounded really quickly. All right, take that thing down. Sweet victory. All right, well done. Let's see, I'm down for another 90 seconds. Okay, we gotta take a look at this. Uh, how many men are they sending? That's what I wanna know. Well, I think it's best to get back to uh, our hideout and just kind of heal up uh, for this battle. And hopefully we have enough men to win this, I don't know. We fight together, we or we die together. Good luck, my friends. That's epic, man. <laughs> that is so cool. Alright, so if we go to the dialogue, what did she say? This is our time. The Holy Nation falls today. We fight together or we die together. Oh, where are you guys going? Guys? Ah... <laughs> uh, Come back! Oh, are they going to charge after them? Alright, we better follow them. Come on, Mr. Killer. I put my samurai armor on on the legs. Since, uh... I don't know. We need to, we need to go see this. Well, I don't know what happened, but I think the, uh, the Flotsam Ninjas are leaving. Oh, there they are. Yeah, they're, they're like... I guess they're going back to, uh... Back home. Well, I guess they need to work on it. It's probably a work in progress. But that is pretty cool. They must have slipped that in without anyone noticing. Because I haven't seen anybody uh, mention that before uh, on the forum. So, that's pretty freaking cool. Well, nobody's going to be at the hideout. We're going to slip by them and head to Stoat. Looks like Mr. Killer and I stumbled upon a uh, Empire Peasants with 2,000 on their bounty. Uh, yeah. All right, let's see. Are they with United Cities? Yep. So take them out. We're going to make up for missing out on the Cannibal Chief. Oh. Yeah, I need to rest up. I'm, like, really wounded. Come on, take him out. There you go. Good job. Alright, he's unconscious. Let's pick him up. Unconscious for 80 seconds. Alright, we got both of these guys. Uh, with a bounty, so we're going to take them into Stoat and hopefully turn them in. Let's see if we can get there without getting attacked. Alright, we made it to uh, Stoat. Let's see, the Samurai Gate Guard is saying, Halt there, I'll enter, you need to inspect your uh, belongings, go ahead. Narcotics, eh? Damn asshat. We have a strict punishment. <laughs> this guy is, these guys are corrupt. So I guess you want something from me, right? 2,000 cats. I hate the United Cities. Oh, here it is. Well, we'll make, we'll make 2,000, I guess, turning these guys in. Let's just check and see if they have any other bounties. See if there's anything new. Uh, let's see, Big Bow. Uh, Savant the Skin Eater. Yeah, he's worth 50,000. That's cool. Tin Fist. The Metal Brute's terror is soon to end. Will you be the hero of the innocent? Uh, there's a guy named Razor. We'll take that. Tin Fist. Tin Fist. Uh, Valamon is a 
leader of the Reaver Bandits. I think we have his. Tin Fist is the leader of the Anti-Slavers. I bet he's, like, really tough. I haven't encountered him yet in the game. But uh, I think he's going to be in the southeast. I don't know if maybe he travels beyond into the Great Desert at some point. But, um... You know, based on certain things. I think he can if uh, you're allied with the Slaver's Guild. Then he might, he might come out. But I think normally he's based out of the southeast in this territory here. So, um, can't wait to explore it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Alright, in the meantime, I think what we're going to do is try to steal some blueprints here tonight. Um, but before we do that, we need to offload all of this gear. And we're going to need building materials, which we don't have a lot of room for. I'm going to run in here and see if I can buy some building materials. Alright, I've got room for two building materials. Unfortunately, I can't hold more. And, oh, if Mr. Killer could get one more, we'd be able to, to do this. Let me see if I can make some room here. I just drop this stuff down here. There we go. Okay, we should have enough now to build that out. Now, the only problem is we've got the Holy Nation literally just hanging around our, out, our hideouts, so that sucks. Um, so we're going to have to wait. I'm just going to have to go into the bar here and just hang out for a couple days until they go away. Because uh, we can't steal anything until we make some more room. So uh, let's just uh, let's go into the bar. Mr. Killer and I, actually, we'll just take a table down here. Take a table for ourselves. And uh, we'll just kind of hang out. Back here at the Arm of Okrin, we've got our uh, hunter squad going to go back to the Floatsam village and meet up with Cryo Assassin and Reacted Wing. They should be done with their training. Let's just take a look. Yeah, 13 melee attack and 13, so... Got their melee attack skill up. Which is great. Let's see. Let's just take a look at Darth. He's got plenty of food still. So that's great. Alright, come along, Reacted Wing and Cryo Assassin. We got stuff to do out in the Cannibal Lands. These guys are starving as well. But uh, yeah, we're going to find food, uh, even more food up here in the cannibal stuff uh, territory, so it's time to head out. One thing I did forget about uh, th of as far as enemies go in the cannibal lands are the Shrieking Bandits. These guys are hilarious. They just run around naked, uh, yelling and screaming, but they actually have decent stats. They have like 20, 15 to 25. And yeah, they just run around butt-ass naked, and they're they're kind of crazy. But sometimes if you act crazy too, um, they won't attack you. And so there's some funny dialogue options with that. But we're gonna, just gonna try to sneak by, and we're gonna head uh, kind of north. I just wanna I don't wanna go northwest because that's where the cannibal capital is. So we're gonna head northeast and kind of like spin around to the west. So hopefully we can just bypass this group. And you don't really want to get into trouble until we it absolutely need to. But, uh, it looks like they're coming at us. Alright, anyway, attack all, guys. Guess we have to. Nice jump kick, Mr. Wolf. Now reacted wing and, uh... Cryo Assassin can kind of hang with everybody since they got their skills up a little bit. Nice job, dude. Night Fairy. Alright, hang back, Crazy. Crazy looks pretty nice with that uh, coat. That trench coat. Alright, let's just heal up and keep moving. It's not worth getting too damaged. Holy... Wow, that is a lot of beak things over there. We are not going that way. Alright, we're heading west. 
Uh, far north is a bad idea. Oh my goodness, it's like a herd of them. Well, we ran into some cannibal hunters. I wonder what kind of dialogue options we've got with these guys. That'd be epic if we could hire them. My friend's been captured by cannibals. Alright, should be able to help if they're still alive. 3,000 cats per day. Wow. Hmm. Do we want to hire these guys? Um. Yeah, why not? 6,000. Yeah, let's hire these guys because then, um, I don't know what kind of trouble we're going to get into with these ruins. It might... Oh, yeah, look. we get Right here, we got freaking Shrieking Bandits coming at us, so, uh... Hopefully they just ignore us for now. And are these mountain dogs? Oh, they are. Wow. Mountain dogs are the best. It's always good to hire some help when you can. We've got the money for it. I'm not too worried about the money aspect. Encountered some scrawny cannibals. Let's take these guys out. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, they're all archers too. Wow. This is a uh, really good uh, good experience for our guys. It's just a flesh wound, as Reacted Wing says. Okay, we've got cannibal camps all over these ruins over here. There's probably a lot of cannibals. Oh yeah, they're, they're everywhere it looks like. Actually, I don't see anyone, but... Is there anything worth taking over here? I don't even think so. There's a skeleton. Oh yeah, there's a couple things. Hold on. Yeah, we'll take a couple of things over here. Let's have Yefflin grab uh, some of this. Skeleton eye. Power core. And... Skeleton rep Oh, skeleton muscle. Another skeleton eye. Yeah, there's some money in here to be made. Sometimes you can't pick up everything though. Some of the items kind of kind of spawn incorrectly. But uh yeah, that's that's all we're gonna take. Alright, let's keep moving. So that's an armory ruin. Okay, let's see what else we got up here. There's a bunch of stuff to the northwest. Alright guys, so we made it up here to the top of this mountain, uh, overlooking the entire valley. You can see the cannibals that we passed uh, along the way down there, which is pretty epic. Uh, you can see pretty much everything up here. Um, one thing is, one thing to note is that my game crashed as I was trying to scale this mountain, so I actually lost all of the, uh, the guys that we had, the cannibal hunters. Because I actually started a little bit of a ways back, so I basically did, redid everything that uh, you saw up to this point. Uh, as far as looting those items from that ruin. Uh, so I got the two skeleton eyes, the skeleton muscle, and power cord. That's literally it. We didn't get into any other battles or anything. So um, we're back to where we were. Um, so let's have Yeflin come up here and loot anything up here. You got a book. Um... Skeleton repair kit. Some armor plating, but I don't know if I'm going to take all that. Oh, power core. Hold on. Take the power core. I think we'll head probably to the north. I think there's an armory to the northeast of here. Well, if you haven't seen a leviathan in Kinchi before, that is it right there. These things have, look at their hit points, 6,700... These things are huge, um, and they do a lot of damage. Um, they're really good for training, though, in the early stages. They're not so good later on, I guess, when you get really high. But I guess, yeah, I mean, they're, they're really good if you can take one down. 
But uh, they don't like crowds. If you have like two, two or three people le or less, um, they won't attack you. But if you, if we were to approach them with this entire group, uh, they probably would be, they probably would attack us. So we're gonna avoid them. We are definitely not in the position to take out Leviathans. But there's a ruin over here I want to check out. Oh, alright, we got a couple security spiders. Alright, hold back, guys. Oh, more than a couple. We got a lot of them. Alright, let's see if we can take all three. Take them all, boys. Attack all. Alright, spread out. Spread out, guys. Oh, boy. Alright, we got one down. Oh, we got two down. Okay. All three down. Nicely done, guys. Yeflin's still up. Yeflin is hurting. Let's take the skeleton muscles, though. There you go. Nice. Alright, nobody died. Let's see. Anybody take any really heavy damage? Crazy Lizard took a big hit to the head. Uh, same with Cryo Assassin. And Gus actually took a beating as well. Okay, so this is the group that's going to try to take out the rest. Gus can come in too. Alright, let's see. Everybody else just go hold. That way they don't mess up. Alright, let's try to take this thing down. Oh god. Mr. Wolf. Oh shit! Oh, uh, Lady Sharky, heal Mr. Wolf quickly. Wow. Oh my goodness. Mr. Wolf almost freaking died. Apples down. Come on. Alright, Lady Sharky loot this thing too, though. Alright, keep healing Mr. Wolf, because he is hurting. Twerkinator, this is up to you, man. And Gus. Alright, Lady Sharky. Get in there. Night Fury, get out of there, bro. Oh, dude. Oh, Night Fury lost his leg. No. No. Torquedator, get over there, dude. Okay, nice. You killed it. Alright, heal all. Heal all quickly. No, Night Fury. Your poor leg, man. Son of a gun. We probably should have taken replacement legs. Did we lose anyone? Oh shit, there's his leg. <laughs> his leg just like appeared out of nowhere. Wow. Mr. Wolf took a beating too. He almost died. Negative 90 to the chest. Okay, well, we, we cleared this area out. Thank goodness. Let's have Apple run around and see what goodies we've got. Skeleton arm right masterwork grade. A heavy pull arm edge type 1. Tons of steel bars. Guardless katana edge type 1. Nothing in the shop counter. Wow, masterwork grade samurai cloth pants. Alright, let's have everybody come inside. Just so that we're out of the way, we won't aggro anything. And uh, yeah, we'll just kind of hang out here and rest up. A good little spot to uh, kind of uh, rest and, and resupply if you need to. But we're up here in the north, far into the north, uh, at the Lost Armory. Our other group is in the Great Desert. And we still have the uh, Holy Nation at our hideout. So this is going to be kind of interesting to see... If they're going to go away. Um, yeah, I don't know if they are or not. We might have to deal with them before uh, before we can use that hideout. I don't know. That's kind of a dilemma. We might have to buy a building in Stoat for now so that we can store our goodies. And then uh, we'll figure out the hideout thing later. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys want to see more Kinchi Iron Man in the future as we start to get into some more dangerous stuff. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. And I'll see you guys again in the next one. Take care.